Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. So we are here to discuss the transit of Mars in the Purva Falguni Nakshatra. So I am seeing drikpanchang.com. So from 23rd of July to 13th of August, uh, it's going to be in the si uh, sign of Leo, but especially in Purva Falguni Nakshatra. Now what is important for us to note is that Purva Falguni is lauded by Venus and the lord <coughs> venus is also in leo okay along with mars and he will be there in leo for quite some time uh, i mean venus so i i have already made the video on venus retrograde so if you have not watched it then please watch it but today is the topic of mars so mars and purva falguni these three energies are combining together you know it's like mars sun and venus okay venus because he's already there and he's the nakshatra lord and sun because he's the lord of the sign leo and if you traditionally see a mars venus conjunction or you see mars and sun uh, sun mars conjunction um, the scriptures say that these conjunctions can uh, make a person very hot-headed sometimes, you know, uh, in terms of administration or when it comes to, you know, romance and all this. You know, so it, it can make a person very hot-headed sometimes. But what is Purva Falguni Nakshatra? We have to understand Purva Falguni Nakshatra is a very interesting Nakshatra because uh, the word, as the word suggests, Purva Fal, Purva Fala. So it is like uh, the fruits of your past lifetimes okay now what people fail to understand is they always think oh purva falguni is uh yeah you know the uh, fruits of the past lifetime so it is always gonna be good right it's gonna be amazing well it depends <laughs> so if you if you have a garden where you sow a seed if you sow a neem neem tree seed then you see, oh, why there are no mangoes, right? Why, why, why there's only a neem tree growing here? <clears throat> so, just because uh, it is full, it doesn't mean it's uh, very sweet and very nice. It can be very sour. It can be very bitter also. Okay, so we we have to understand this in the right context, which means. <clears throat> just because we see the word full, uh, which is like falguni. Uh, it doesn't mean that it will always be nice for us okay now it can even if it is not uh, very palatable it can be good for us that is that is another uh, day for some special discussion if this is good or bad for us but what what i'm trying to tell you here today is that because this transit is occurring uh, because mars is entering pura falguni or it has actually already entered so without judging the whole horoscope we should not come into this conclusion that this is going to be a rosy transit for us everything's gonna be nice okay now it can be nice it may, may not be nice at the end it will depend on your chart so if you already have uh, planets in purva falguni then i mean in your birth chart originally if you have like the sun moon or the lagna lord in purva falguni or if you have venus in purva falguni or if you have mars in purva falguni or if you have a sun as i already said <clears throat> then this will be more prominent but uh, we have to understand that surya and mangal whenever the energies are combined it can uh, aggravate the pitta dosh in our body okay this is the ayurvedic uh, pitta dosh this is not a uh, pitra dosh of astrology okay don't confuse pitta and pitru uh, with that <clears throat> now this can mean that uh, we are more angrier than before <laughs> there is too much heat in the atmosphere uh, or it could also mean that on a brighter on a positive sense we are doing everything to like you know uh, go and get that deal or that promotion or that work okay which which, which is going to be very good if uh, this is related to the artha houses okay so basically if uh if if uh, this transit is occurring in your second house or sixth house or tenth house then this can be very beneficial for your profession uh, provided uh, your dashas are good okay or if your dashas are not good but you are still getting this transit this can mean uh, you are facing some challenges in your profession and you are very uh, you are very committed to come out of it okay so do not blame the transits it depends on your dashas but <coughs> 
this transit shows because uh, it's the transit of Mars in the sign of the Sun uh, this th this is primarily uh, indicating opportunities and advancements in your profession if this is in a Artha house okay <clears throat> then if this transit is occurring in your uh, Dharma Trikon which is 159 okay which means you are maybe a fiery ascendant okay so you are either Aries Lagna or you are Leo Lagna or your Sagittarius Lagna then this means that this is a time for rediscovery okay now this is something which I also spoke in the Venus retrograde video so if you have not watched it then please watch it because I said there that during the month of June <coughs> there was something which happened in your life but now you are trying to take a different direction altogether so you actually have to see if the decision that you made are you able to live up to it now okay and as I said in that video that maybe for the upcoming two to three weeks you will stick to that decision and nothing wrong in sticking to it but maybe in the next two three weeks later you might want to revisit something which you uh, lost in the last week okay I mean in the last month of June okay so therefore if there is anything uh, and because of the presence of Mars this new adventure that you are having is uh, appearing to be very uh, very intense okay <clears throat> so what we need to know is that this new uh, adventure that we are experiencing since the beginning or you could say the mid of Ju july is something very exciting for us <clears throat> and at the same time uh, it can be that to get this we have made a very huge trade-off okay and that was all about Venus retrograde because then Venus will go back to cancer but Mars is not retrograde he will not go back to cancer so he will most likely inspire you to you know cross this junction and Purva Falguni Nakshatra has a lot of passion inside it you know it has a lot of energy it has a lot of intensity it has a lot of power it has a lot of beauty it has a lot of art it has a lot of creativity <coughs> So if you if you have uh, this transit, then it means that whatever new you ha are going to start in this month or whatever you might have already started, now you will do that with, you know, 10x more intensity. It's like you will become, should I say desperate or should I say you will become more inspired, right? <laughs> So depending on your dashas, either you will be uh, very much inspired, like double, tri doubly inspired, triply inspired, or you will become very desperate to get something. So what we need to understand uh, is that if we have a right purpose in our mind, if we have the right goal, if we have the company of the right people, if we have the right uh, guidance from our gurus, <coughs> then this can be a very amazing transit where we implement all the things that we have learned. Okay. But at the same time, uh, if we are uh, clueless, we are uh, we, we, we don't see any hope, okay, then this can be a bit intense because this can put us more in anxiety, okay, this can make us more angry, more frustrated. So therefore, uh, if you feel that uh, you, you are not going the right way in life, then maybe it's good. Uh, time for you to seek guidance from a guru your spiritual master okay because uh, otherwise you may feel that you are just running it's like uh, in the Srimad Bhagavatam as it said you know when Kaliyavan and Lord Krishna were fighting uh, not fighting actually they didn't fight <laughs> so uh, Krishna was walking uh, and going towards the cave where Muchukunda Maharaj was sitting uh, sleeping actually <coughs> and uh, Kaliyavan was actually running but he was at the same place <laughs> okay so uh, we need to ensure that we have somebody like lord krishna or his representative you know like the gurus uh, from the bona fide sampradayas who can actually guide us during such turbulent times uh, because uh, because when sun and mars energies come together the anger the pitta can be very high as i said before so therefore 
if you do not have somebody like uh, lord krishna in your life then uh, maybe it's time for you to seek some higher guidance okay so maybe try to visit some spiritual community nearby your place or try to visit some uh, a satsang program uh, and then by that you will gain more enlightenment you will not only discover god you will also discover yourself okay so therefore when you uh, learn more about yourself what you like what you uh, what you are more incompatible uh, with you know what is more appropriate for you uh, either you get get it by self revelation by help of god or maybe the guru helps you identify with so then <clears throat> uh it's very important that you pay heed to the words of the guru and then you act accordingly okay so in short if you are passionate about something this is a great time to work on it take it to completion okay do not leave it at 90% or 99% take it to 101% it should be complete and beyond completion okay make it ready make make that thing done ultimately which which you 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 are wanting to do from last 2 3 months but at the same time if you feel uh, you do not you do not uh, have that what it takes then maybe it's a good time for you to seek guidance and it is also important for you to see sit and see if that is something which you actually wanted or was it just like a it's just because of time you you felt the way okay so therefore you need to check you need to introspect and see what is going on how things can turn out for you okay and if you lack uh, direction then please seek guidance from your guru because that will actually help you to uh, know what is best for you okay so that will be all from my side ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your patience and uh, if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me then please go to my website down below exoticastrology.in what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you